Good day, ma'am. Good day, everyone. I am Ria Pimal Negro, and I am the first reporter of Group 7. Today, we're going to talk all about the Domain 7, which is the personal growth and professional development. So, what do you mean by personal growth? So, it is uh, developing your communication and social skills, including the emotional well-being, and it is the way you can help or help you to reach your potentials or becoming the best version of yourself. So, one of the example of personal growth is overcoming your fear of public speaking like that. So, after you overcome the, your fear, you have the way or strategies and how to handle that in future or if na kay magian nga ingan na nga situation kay bon ka mo handle or na na kay nahibawan the next one is professional development so unsa man yung professional development so professional development it is the knowledge or skills that can improve your efficiency at work so some example of this is kana seminars for teachers to become para mas mo improve pang skills sa mga maestra which is can develop our professional so the main purpose of personal growth and professional development is to continuously improve oneself whether in terms of skills knowledge behaviors and other matters the next reporter will discuss all about domain 7 contains five strand which is the philosophy of teaching the second one is dignity of teaching as a profession the third is professional links with colleagues the fourth is professional reflection and learning to improve practice and fifth is professional development goals so here in philosophy of teaching in 7.1.1, it says that articulate a personal philosophy of teaching that is a learner-centered. So it means that education should be a transformative experience that empowers students to develop their um, full potential both academically and personally. So the word articulate, they are able to express their thoughts and ideas easily and well. So in 7.1.2, apply a personal philosophy of teaching that is a learner-centered Meaning, um, so we are future educator. So as a future educator, it is our responsibility to know who our learners are, what they want to achieve so that uh, we can tailor a curriculum that fits their needs. So the next is 7.1.3. It says that manifest a learner-centered teaching philosophy in various aspects of practice and support colleagues in enhancing their own learner-centered teaching philosophy. So it means that um, learning can be said to be manifested, right? So by a person when they when there is a demonstrable change in their knowledge skills attitudes or behavior so it is a result of learning process so this could be seen through um, improved performance the ability to solve problems and make informed decisions or communicate effectively so in 7.1.4 it says that model learner centered teaching philosophy through teaching practices that stimulate colleagues to engage in their further professional learning so um, from the word itself, practice. So that emphasizes, it emphasizes of the activity shifted from the teacher to the students using learner-centered teaching techniques. So among these technique, techniques is active learning when students work through difficulties like provide answers to queries, post original queries, argue, discuss, and brainstorm in class. So moving on, we have the dignity of teaching as a profession. So dignity in teaching as a profession, it simply refers to upholding the respect, honor, and integrity associated with the role of a teacher. So um, it involves recognizing the importance of educators in shaping the lives of students and contributing to society. So dignity in teaching means valuing the expertise, dedication, hard work of teachers, providing them with support, professional development, re and resources to excel in their profession their profession so um, teachers identities are validated by their professionals dignity teachers want their status as educated professionals and more importantly as a unique person recognized by the school community so the assumption of teachers professional dignity is that uh, the school community formally and personally knows them 
So moving on, we have dignity of teaching as a profession. In 7.2.1, it says that demonstrate behaviors that uphold the dignity of teaching as a profession by exhibiting qualities such as caring, attitude, respect, and integrity. So it means that uh, teachers should create a safe and respectful classrooms environment that values diversity and fosters a sense of community among students. So one example of that is communicate effectively. So like teachers... Uh, teachers should uh, communicate with students, colleagues, and parents in an open and honest manner. So that is our way of demonstrate, demonstrating good behavior. 7.2.2, it says that adapt practices to the full of the dignity of teaching as a profession by exhibiting qualities such as caring, attitude, respect, and integrity. So it means that uh, from the word itself, dignity. So dignity means respect. For humanity so teacher must respect every person regardless of gender appearance age religion opinions abilities and each other 7.2.3 it says that identify and utilize personal uh, professional strength to uphold dignity so to identify your professional strength and weaknesses is to seek feedback from yourself because you are the one who know well about yourself. So after that, others who know you well and can provide honest and real insight. This, in could, this could include your managers, colleagues, mentors, clients, or friends. So in 7.2.4, so act is a role model and advocate for upholding the dignity of teaching as a profession to build a positive teaching learning culture within beyond the school. So it means that a great teacher has compassion for their students, who it, who it is very important to be a role model for children, to be positive always and try harder and reach from the sky. So I am the third reporter. By the way, I am Mirchona Mabanto. So let's start. Strand 7.3, professional link with colleagues. Reinforce the relationship and connection that professional established with your peers in the same field or industry. These links are essential for collaboration, knowledge sharing, support, and professional development. Building strong professional link with colleagues involves effective communication, mutual respect, trust, and willingness to work together toward common goals. This connection can lead mentorship opportunities, new insights, career advancement, and sense of belonging within the professional community. In the beginning teacher 7.3.1 seek opportunities to establish professional link with colleagues by establishing professional link with colleagues in the beginning teacher community can be valuable for networking and support considering join, joining online forums or social media groups especially for beginning teachers attending conferences or workshop participating in professional development programs and reaching out to your colleagues at your school or district Collaborating on project or sharing resources can also help foster connection with the other beginning teachers. Mona ang pasabot sa beginning teachers. Proficient teacher 7.3.2 Participate in professional network to share knowledge and to enhance practice. By participating in professional network is an excellent way to share knowledge and enhance practice. So, and proficient teachers, they look to opportunities to join subject or specific or grade level professional organization, attend conferences, workshop and seminars, and engage in online communities or forums where experienced educators gather to exchange ideas and resources. Collaborating on research project mentoring programs or curriculum development initiative within this network can also contribute professional growth and development. Mona ayang pasabot. Highly proficient teacher 7.3.3 Contribute actively professional networks within and between school improve knowledge and to enhance practice. To actively contribute to a professional network within and between school and enhance practice among highly proficient teachers, considering joining or creating professional learning communities. Mona ang number one. Number two, cross school collaboration. Mona ang dapat panimo buhaton as a highly proficient teacher. Number three, attending conferences and workshop. And number four, four online communities and social media. And number five, leading professional development. Number six is mentoring and coaching. Then the last one is number seven, action research and collaborative inquiry.
by actively participating in professional network and collaborating with highly proficient teachers both in within your school you can continuously improve your knowledge and enhance your practice distinguished teacher 7.3.4 take a leadership role in supporting colleagues engagement with professional networks within and across school to advance knowledge and practice in identified areas of need to take this leadership in role supporting colleagues engagement with professional network within cross school to advance your knowledge and practice and identify areas of need among distinguished teacher you have to consider the following step so so number one identify areas of need number two facilitate professional learning communities number three promote cross school collaboration Number four, organize professional development events. Number five, leverage technology. And number six, provide resources and support. And number seven, the last, recognize and celebrate success. By taking a leadership role in supporting colleagues' engagement with professional network and promoting collaboration across school, you can help advance knowledge and participate among distinguished teachers in areas of need, ultimately benefiting students and a broader educational community. Good day everyone, I am Leonet Malegon and I'll continue discussing Domain 7, Professional Reflection and Learning to Improve Practice. Professional reflection and learning to improve practice involve the process of critically analyzing one's own actions, experiences, and outcomes in a professional setting with the aim of enhancing performance and effectiveness. This often includes evaluating successes and challenges, identifying areas for growth and development, and implementing strategies for improvement. Professional reflection encourages practitioners to consider their beliefs, assumptions, and biases, as well as to seek feedback from colleagues and stakeholders. Continuous learning through reflection enables professionals to refine their skills, adapt to new situations, and ultimately provide better outcomes for those they serve. So, an example ani is, like ako, I'm discussing to my student. So, after ko mag-discuss, I will... Ask them kung sa ilang naibawaan, kung sa ilang na-learn, or nakasabot ba sila sa ako ang gitudlo kay. By that, ako mismo mga maestra, makaibaw ko kung sa'yo angay pa na ako nga i-improve, to improve my teaching skills by the help of the students. So, mura ko og mag-survey. So now, I'll be discussing the beginning teachers, professional teachers, and highly professional teachers, and the distinguished teachers. So, let's start with beginning teachers. Beginning teachers demonstrate an understanding of how professional reflection and learning can be used to improve practice. So, it means na ikaw nga beginning teachers ka or gadiscuss ka, nga niya, baguhay pabitaw ka, so dapat ikaw nga teacher nakasabot ka sa imong gitudlo para ma-improve pa ni mo yung teaching skills by the help of the students. Aron ma-effective ma bitaw ang imong pag-teach. So, and the profession teachers develop a personal professional improvement plan based on reflection of one's, one's practice and ongoing professional learning. So, it means you make your own plan nga based sa lain bitaw na colleagues Mag-base ka sa lain na nila o sa on, di unsa nila pagtudlo para ma-improve ang imong learning skills and ongoing professional learning. And then, sa highly professional teachers, initiate professional reflections and promote learning opportunities with colleagues to improve practice. So, it means, collaborate ka sa uban ni mga colleagues. Mga yung strategies, feedback sa imong mga co-workers para makatabang sa pag-improve sa imong teaching skills. So, sa distinguished teachers, demonstrate leadership within and across school context and critically evaluating practice and setting clearly defined targets 
for professional development. So it means, ikaw na mismo ang mag-lead. Kaya syempre, nakahibaw naman ka or murabag na expert na bitaw ka. So, ikaw na mag-lead sa imong uban na co-workers nga imbes, pag-agi, di ba? Ikaw pa yung mga strategy. So, this, ani nga, distinguished teachers, ikaw na mismo ang mulid sa uban nga bago pa nga teacher ba? Then, based sa imong mga knowledge, helping them to improve. I am Catherine Maver Todeso and I'll be the one to discuss the strong 7.5 Professional Development Goals. Professional development goals are important for teachers who want to enhance their skills, knowledge, and overall performance. It's important for educators to reflect on their own needs and areas for improvement when setting goals. In Strand 7.5.1, demonstrate motivation to realize professional development goals based on the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers. By demonstrating motivation and actively pursuing professional development goals aligned with the PPST, teachers can continuously improve their teaching practice, contribute to their student growth, and meet the high standards set by the teaching profession in the Philippines. And in the strand 7.5.2, set professional development goals based on the Philippine professional standard for teachers. There are some examples of professional development goals based on the Philippine professional standard for teachers. And you can customize your professional standard goals based on your individual needs and areas for growth. And it's important to make your goals specific measurable, relevant, and time-bound to ensure specific progress and growth in your teaching practice. And in strand 7.5.3, reflecting on the Philippine professional standard for teachers to plan personal professional development goals and assist colleagues in planning and achieving their goals. By reflecting on the PPST, you can create a culture of continuous growth and improvement within your teaching community. This will ultimately contribute to the advancement of the Philippine profession in the Philippines. And strand 7.5.4, lead reforms and enhancing professional development program based on an in-depth knowledge and understanding of the Philippine professional standard for teachers. By leading reforms in professional development programs, you can contribute to the continuous growth and development of teachers, ultimately improving the quality of education in the Philippines.